haven't told me why she was important to future generations. You're asking me things the teacher already knows. She knows what I'm talking about. She read the book. Oh. It means it's just that you don't have much experience with kids. Excuse me? Have I not done a good job raising Olivia? I'm still alive. Two or three weeks later, he says, you know what, Debbie? Lisa Bonet is pregnant, not Denise. So no. Remember the drop-dead gorgeous Lisa Bonet from that iconic 90s hit TV series, The Cosby Show? Three children slept here. Yes. Where? Well, one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the one who snagged the heartthrob, Lenny Kravitz. Talk about a power couple, am I right? But wait, it gets juicier. Our girl Lisa didn't just play by the rules. She went and rocked the boat big time. All right. Good night. Good night. She was shining bright, living her best life, and then bam, she gets pregnant. And who do you think wasn't cheering? Bill Cosby, of all people. Yeah, you guys, I'm married. <laughs> Too happy for me? She secreted to me that she was actually pregnant. I guess Bill had his feelings about that because he was possessive in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were his on-camera wife and children, but they still were his. Can you believe he actually gave her the boot for that? Fired, just like that. I mean, come on, who does that? Talk about drama. Let's dive into the tumultuous relationship that was Lisa Bonet and Bill Cosby's relationship to find out why it ended so badly between the two. Lisa Bonet, who played Denise Huxtable, was like the rebel of the TV fam. Rumor has it she was always late to set and didn't always see eye to eye with Cosby on how things should go down. But hey, that's showbiz for you. Now, Lisa landed the role of Denise when she was just 16, and she totally rocked it. Do something a little more delicate, something like... <laughs> Cosby and the producers saw something special in her, especially when she showed up to her audition with half her face in makeup. Talk about making an impression, right? She even snagged an Emmy nom in 86. But here's where it gets real. Lisa didn't exactly come from the same background as her character. While Denise was all about that upper-middle-class life, Lisa grew up in a lower-middle-class white neighborhood raised by mom after her dad split. So you can imagine there was some inner conflict there. But hey, you wouldn't know it from watching her on screen. She was killing it as Denise. But like any actor worth their salt, she wanted to stretch her wings and tackle new roles. So in 87, she shook things up by appearing in Angel Heart, where she played a love interest for Mickey Rourke. The movie was pretty intense. It even got slapped with an X rating at first. Now, here's the catch. Cosby wasn't exactly thrilled about it. He had this wholesome vibe going on with The Cosby Show, and Bonet's new gig didn't exactly fit the bill. Plus, there were rumors flying around about her showing up late to work or not showing up at all. It was all getting a bit tense between them. Bonet later said, I took the film as just a creative choice and I wasn't really thinking of Denise or her reputation at all. You know, I wasn't looking to destroy that because I feel very much more responsible to myself as an actor than I do to Denise. And if they are fans of Lisa Bonet's, I think they'll be very pleased with what they see on screen. And if they're fans of Denise, then they'll just be very surprised. And hey, can you blame her? You got to look out for yourself and your career, right? But that didn't sit well with Cosby. He had his vision for the show, and Bonet's move threw a wrench into the whole thing. At the time, rumors circulated regarding Cosby's opinions on Bonet's new career choices. Cosby was said to be livid about the scene, though he later revealed he was not in opposition. In fact, he told Newsweek in 1987 that he advised Bonet to take the role to show his support when she told him about it. Still, he admitted that he felt the film overall was distasteful. It's a movie made by white America that cast a black girl, gave her voodoo things to do, and have sex, he said. Sinbad even said this. Okay, Lisa Bonet on The Cosby Show, they had a squirmish. Lisa wanted to go off and do other things, and she does Angel Heart. So Angel Heart, oh, Lisa's gonna do a movie. Okay, that's nice, that's big, that's fine. Then the movie comes out, she's naked, yes. she's doing yes. voodoo sex, you know, chicken blood all over her, yep. and everybody yep. lost their mind. And Bill, do you think that's the reason that Bill... Um... No. He said, wow. He said, that might not be the look for you. He said, got it though, because it's like the kids who leave Disney and figured I gotta go, go crazy because they got dropped that. Like um, Will Smith had to lose Fresh Prince Bel-Air. So when you do a comedy, you need to go, and Lisa's, we're not 
now I'm always artistic as hell. She's an artistic person, always has been. So I just think for her, she's not a sitcom actress. She's an actress. And I think she just said, you know, I'll go do something else. It was evident that these moves challenged Cosby more than Denise Huxtable ever did. And with the tension brewing behind the scenes, it was clear that things were reaching a boiling point. So in 87, a different world hit the screens. I know my parents love me. You know that spinoff from The Cosby Show? Yeah, it was basically created to get Lisa Bonet out of there because her and Cosby? Constantly clashing. Anyway, A Different World was all about Denise Huxtable heading off to Hillman College, giving us a peek into the lives of black college students. Pretty groundbreaking stuff for the time. There was only one problem. Lisa found out she was pregnant. Debbie Allen was the director and producer for the second season. Debbie said, She told me she was pregnant, so I said, well, listen, we have to go tell him. So we got dressed, we went up there, and I said, well, we have some things that we want to tell you. He said, what is it? Are you pregnant? And they were like, oh, my God. And I said to him, I explained to him how I wanted to use it on the show, because that would be a great thing to see a girl who's upper-class kid having a baby, not married, because she didn't want to be married, and the girls could root for her. I, I was explaining all that we could do. He listened to all of that. I got put in place, a new person in charge. We started talking about stories and then immediately, maybe about two or three weeks later, he says, you know what, Debbie? No. She's pregnant. Denise Huxtable is not pregnant. Lisa Bonet is pregnant, not Denise. So no. No, you can't have it. No, we're not going to do it. No. So he took her back. It was alleged that she was fired from a different world after getting pregnant and she went back to the Cosby show a year later. However, she got the boot for good in 91 from the show. Cosby? He tries to spin it saying Lisa had outgrown the role and the material. But let's be real here, folks. We all know there was more to the story than that, especially with all that backstage drama between him and Lisa. So let's fast forward to 2015 when Bill Cosby rocked the headlines with some seriously disturbing accusations. Turns out he was accused of drugging and sexually assaulting a whole bunch of women over the years. Fast forward again to 2018 and Cosby's in the hot seat again, this time getting convicted of assaulting one of those women. He gets slapped with a three to 10 year sentence in a Pennsylvania slammer. Now you might be thinking, what does Lisa Bonet have to say about all this? Well, back in 2018, she was asked about the accusations in an interview with Netta Porter. Does she spill the tea? Nope. Instead, she keeps it real, saying, nope, nothing's changed. It's exactly how I remember it. But she does talk about this creepy energy vibe she felt around him. Lisa Bonet, who's rocking her early 50s and holding it down as a mom to three kiddos. Her first brush with marriage? None other than the iconic singer Lenny Kravitz. The sparks between them flew back in the mid-80s when they crossed paths at a concert. Kravitz was supposedly engaged at the time, but that didn't stop the chemistry from sizzling between them. They took the plunge and tied the knot in Las Vegas, going all in on the elopement vibe. Their love story blessed them with a beautiful daughter, the one and only Zoe Kravitz who's now slaying the acting scene, and she's currently in a relationship with Channing Tatum. Behind the scenes, however, things weren't all that pretty. Rumors swirled about Lenny's wandering eye, allegedly straying with the likes of Madonna and other leading ladies. The cracks started showing, and by 91, Lenny and Lisa called it quits, with Lisa pulling the trigger on divorce proceedings. What have you been doing? You've been missing. Just have gone through lots of changes. So. Name me the biggest change you've undergone. Well, I'm single again. Yeah. That was a big change. And getting comfortable and appreciating being a mother. Taking that time to connect with my kid. Do you and the baby hang out with Mr. Kravitz and spend time together, the three of you, every now and then? No. Despite the love train derailing, they kept it classy co-parenting like pros and staying tight as friends. Zoe's mom and I were incredibly and deeply in love. It was a magical, magical relationship and a magical time in my life. She really helped to bring out the best in me and inspired me. We were very young and uh, it was wonderful. And we had Zoe, which is, I see now, you know, what it was all about. It was really all about bringing this beautiful child to the planet and also sharing the love that we had. Zoe's mom and I now are best friends. Fast forward a bit, and it seems like Lenny was dusting off his playbook, ready to win back Lisa's heart. He even dropped some truth bombs in his hit track, It Ain't Over Till It's Over. 
However, any hopes of a reunion between Lenny and Lisa were squashed in the mid-2000s. And she didn't stay solo for long. Enter Jason Momoa, the hunky Aquaman himself. Their love story kicked off in a classic L.A. setting, a jazz club. Sparks flew, chemistry crackled, and Momoa even described their first meeting as a moment of pure magic. Despite their love story sounding like a Hollywood fairy tale, their approach to marriage was refreshingly unconventional. While they casually referred to each other as husband and wife in interviews, the details of their actual wedding remained under wraps. It wasn't until 2017 that they made it official, sealing the deal in a top-secret ceremony. Their low-key vibe extends beyond the wedding aisle. They're all about that media-free living, shying away from the glitz and glam of modern technology. Momoa and Bonet welcome their first bundle of joy, Lola Yolani Momoa, into the world. Momoa's parenting playbook draws from his own experiences, shaped by the absence of a father figure in his own upbringing. But even the strongest bonds face their trials. In a surprising turn of events, Momoa and Bonet announced their separation in January 2022. By January 8, 2024, Bonet took the next step and filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. While the details remain hazy, whispers suggest that the journey to this decision may have been riddled with the painful sting of infidelity. When it comes to handling life's curveballs, Lisa Bonet's got it down to a zen-like art form. With a career that spans over three decades, she's effortlessly juggled the demands of entertainment, motherhood, and personal growth. As for Lisa's career, she's dipped her toes back into the acting pool, making a splash in TV series like Life on Mars, Drunk History, The Red Road, and Ray Donovan. But don't expect her to take on just any role. Lisa's all about that passion project life, choosing roles that resonate with her soul. After all, she's learned a thing or two from her Cosby Show days. Sometimes it's best to stick to what sets your heart on fire. And let's talk numbers. As of early 2024, her estimated net worth comfortably exceeds the $10 million mark. But hey, for someone as multifaceted and talented as Bonet, it's hardly shocking.